Hey YouTubers, I wanted to share a quick video. Uh, my Skag Patriot would not crank yesterday. I went to do a couple of yards and got to my second one and turned the key to nothing. Well, I'll get to the details here in a minute, but what turned out to be my problem was I've got a bad PTO switch here. See that green wire right there? That's on one side and there's another green wire. When this PTO switch is disengaged, which it has to be to crank, this switch closes the circuit between the two green wires, which those green wires run over here down to the starter or the solenoid. If that green wire does not have all circuits closed, there again, there are three, four safety switches on this mower. There's one under the seat right there. I won't show you, but I'm sure you all know each handle has a button. If they're not engaged before you hit the starter, your starter will not come on. Your solenoid will not activate the starter. And your brake down here also has one. So you've got one, two, three, four, four different features that could stop the solenoid, this green wire, from getting power. And an easy way to check those is to take your switches apart. You can use a voltmeter or whatever. I just uh, jumped these two green wires. Got me a little piece of scrap wire here. And put it on the green side there and the other. And lo and behold, it, it cranked. So if you have a problem with your mower not cranking, just go and see, first of all, if you got 12 volts, which I had 12 volts here, but I had no power with that little green wire. Sorry for the visual here, but I really can't do much better <laughs> holding a phone and sun glaring in my eyes. Uh, from what I've read in some forums, that PTO switch, it happens. It's fairly common for that to happen. So if you're waiting two days like I am, I reordered me one off Amazon for $13. I got a different brand than this Delta brand, which is on many, many different mowers. I got a different brand. I guess kind of hoping that it won't, it'll last longer than two years. But worst case scenario, if you have a bad safety switch in your handle, your seat, or anywhere, you can check these two green wires on each one and jump those across, and you can continue mowing and go throughout your day, and you won't miss work and leave your customers waiting on you. Anyway, thought I would share that with everybody. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.